Hello everybody, so in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a jQuery UI accordion. Once you're done, you're going to be able to have a, an accordion that looks something like this. Okay, and it's going to be done in four easy steps. So let's get to it because showing you the end product doesn't really help you much. So I'm going to go into the background right now and rip out all the code and guide you through it step by step. So here I've ripped out all the code and now we're going to go from scratch showing you how to create um, the JQ accordion. So the first thing we need to do is go to our search engine and look for a page called jQueryUI.com slash accordion. <clears throat> Pardon me. So this is the jQuery UI homepage or page and they show you a sample here of the accordion and what it looks like and they even show you some source code so we're going to go into, into here where it says view source code and click on that and it's going to show us the source code so what we need to do is copy the code right for here starting at this div copy it all the way to the bottom where the div ends just copy that and then we're going to go back into our wordpress editor and in this case we're working with a post page, but you can also do this just on a regular page. Now make sure you're in your text editor here in the text tab. If you're in visual, if you do it here on this tab, visual is not going to work out for you. So click on the text tab and paste the code that we just copied into there. Okay. Now let's update that and let's go into our post. Now we can see that the code that the text is there but nothing really is happening if we click here nothing happens okay so it, there the sections are there but nothing's happening what we want to have to happen is each one of these sections that is enclosed in header three tags uh, once you click on them we want the div that's directly below it to collapse so you can create as many of these as you want and you can label them whatever you want uh, but the, the main thing is that whatever is on the h3 tags and the divs that are below it, those are the ones that are associated together. So if you click on this header, it'll collapse the div that is directly below it. Okay. So now that we have that uh, U UI uh, code copied and uh, onto our post page, what we need to do now is go into our text editor. Uh, I use Sublime, but you can use whatever one you want. And what we need to do is go into our our themes folder in this case I'm using trestle and we need to create a folder for our jQuery code so let's create that and in this case we're gonna name the, the folder JS okay and once that folder is created we're gonna create a file inside there and we're gonna call that file <clears throat> accordion .js. okay so we're gonna save that and once we have that according JS file created, we want to put some code in there. The code's going to be something like this. And basically what this is telling us is that we want the accordion to be collapsable. We want the in, um, let me just slow down on this. In some accordions, what you'll see is that the first, uh, I call it according, but I don't, you can call it whatever you want, that the first section is open and the ones following it are closed. I like all of my sections to be closed by default. so. I put it to false but if you wanted the first one to be open just put this to true and then I put uh, this thing that's called height style what that means is that no matter how much or how little content you have in each section of your accordion the height of the accordion section will automatically adjust to cover the content that's basically what that means so <clears throat> that's helpful to have there so once you have this code in there just go ahead and save it okay now we have this code here but ja uh, wordpress won't use it until we do something called that is called unqueuing the script okay so let's go ahead and do that now now if you were doing this in a regular website outside of wordpress uh, you would just put your your script inside the header tags but we uh, we don't do that in WordPress because it could, could cause conflicts that's why we have to unqueue the script so we go into our functions PHP file and uh, unqueue it by creating a function and then uh, hooking it onto the script so basically this function is telling us is calling on the accordion Java jQuery uh, 
file that we created. And basically what's gonna happen is when other scripts from the page load, this one is hooked onto it, so this one will load as well. Okay, so let's save that. And just by putting this, uh, this these two pieces of code from the accordion JS file, and then also this code into the functions PHP file, we should have something working already. So let's click on this and refresh it, see what we have so far. So you can already see that all the accordion sections are there and they're all fully collapsed like the way we want them. And if we were to click on the header, they would expand and collapse. So here we go. So it's already working. But uh, and if you like it like that, then that's fine, right? But we want to put some um, some styling to this so that it looks a little prettier. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we want to do is go back to uh, once again to our to our jQuery page, and we want to look for now a page that's called theme roller. So we go to a page jQuery.ui.com slash theme roller and here what you get the opportunity to do is to customize different pre-formatted themes so if we go into gallery by clicking this tab right here you'll see a whole bunch of different themes that are available for you so if we were to click on this one for example you can see that they already have predefined accordions predefined tabs everything that you need so if this is the type of accordion you like you can go ahead and just download it as it is, but if you wanted to change the colors, for example, to match the design of your website, you would just click on edit and add, and then you go ahead and make changes as you want. For this purpose, I'm gonna just download it as it is, so we would just click on the download button right here, and then it's gonna bring it to this page. Now they are gonna try to include a whole bunch of things that we don't necessarily need, so effects, we don't need that for this purpose. Uh, and widgets as far as widgets go we just want to keep the accordion widget and then as far as interactions we get rid of all of those and then from the UI core section take all these two check marks out of the mouse and the position we don't need those the core and the and this widget one we have to keep those um, so once you've done that go ahead and click on download and save it to your desktop I've already saved mine so I'm not gonna save it again but you go ahead and save yours and then once what we're gonna have is we're gonna have something like this one here, the JQ UI that is zipped on your desktop. All you have to do is unzip it and then you'll have a folder something like this. And just keep in mind where this folder is because we're gonna need it in a little while. So what we're gonna do now is go back into our text editor <clears throat> and inside our theme, we're gonna create a new folder and call it CSS. I like to keep my CSS styling for uh, the accordion separate from my regular style.css. It just makes it easier to manipulate later for me. Uh, but if you really wanted to put it in your style CSS, you could do that. You would just have to change the, the coding a little bit. But for this purpose, just create a folder called st uh, CSS. Okay. So once you've uh, created that folder, what we want to do is now go to our desktop, open this folder that we unzipped. And inside you'll have this uh, a folder, let's go back up one level, a folder called JQ, jQuery UI 1.114. Go ahead and copy that, okay? And then you what you wanna do is you wanna navigate to where your theme is, okay? Okay, theme, trestle, and go into the CSS folder and paste that folder that we just copied into there. Okay, so that's pasted. So now we can go back into our editor and you can see that it's there. So the CSS styling is there, but we have to tell WordPress to load that uh, CSS style sheet. So the way that we do that is we have to unqueue our style sheet. And in order to unqueue our style sheet, what we have to do is we have to put a little bit of code in our functions PHP file. So just go ahead into your functions PHP file and put this code in there. So let me just move this over so you can see it a little bit better. So what this is basically telling it is to uh, unqueue this file, which is located under CSS, jQuery UI, uh, subfolder jQuery UI 1.114 custom, and the, fi the file is jQueryUI.css, and it's gonna basically load that style sheet. So let's go ahead and save that. 
one thing you'll notice is if we were to open this CSS uh, folder and then the jQuery folder within it, you'll see a whole bunch of other folders that were included with when we downloaded the jQuery style sheet. Now we can go ahead and delete all these other ones. The only one we want to keep is the jQuery UI CSS because that's the file we're calling for here and that's what contains our style sheet. So we can get rid of the other ones, but they're not necessary. If you wanted to leave them there, I mean, it's not going to do any harm, but I generally don't want to keep anything that I don't need. So I usually get rid of them, delete them all, delete everything. Even this external folder, you can delete that. The only two that you really need to keep is the folder called images and jQuery UI CSS. Okay. So we have to keep those. Now, if we were to go to our web page now, and refresh it we have our accordion happening and there it is now you have your own jQuery UI accordion made from scratch in four easy steps and if you wanted more detailed instructions or if you wanted to to have the code available for you to copy and paste just go ahead and go to my website called wpbasics.org and the code will be there for you also if you like this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you do i'll be doing a few more other tutorials on jQuery. so as soon as you subscribe you'll get notification once these new tutorials are up well thank you for watching my video and have a good day bye